dado cuts with your router. So I've got some cabinets I'm building for this big island back here, and I've got some 18 mil plywood, and I wanna make some dado cuts in it to fit this all together. So I've gone and bought an 18 millimeter um, router bit. It's really important you get the right size. So 18 mils is almost three quarters. It's like an armpit hair away from three quarters. If you buy a three quarter inch uh, bit, then you're essentially gonna have about um, an armpit hair worth of, of wiggle in your board. So if you buy the 18 mil bit, which matches the 18 mil plywood, you kind of smell what I'm stepping in. It's all gonna fit together just nice and we're looking for precision and nice tight joints. So you're gonna put your bit in. Um, all of my cuts are, are basically like a half lap type thing. So it's pretty easy to divide 18 in half and you get nine. So we're gonna basically set the height of the bit at nine millimeters. And then all the cuts that I'm going to do um, are going to take half of the 18, 18 mil. Makes my measurements all pretty easy. Um, then you're going to want to measure from the edge of your bit, whatever the, the, the highest point is, the top dead center, and you're going to measure to the edge of your router to find out how far you've got to set. It's 35 mils. And I need to add my, my bit of 18. So I've got 53 millimeters. And I'll set my gauge here at 53 mils. <clears throat> Make a mark there. Mark there. And you've seen in previous videos when I'm cutting some of these on shorter planks, I'll just use a large T-square. The T-square won't go all the way here. So I've got this clamp unit that I bought some time ago and it does the trick. So we're just gonna set this right along the line that I just marked off. And we'll clamp it down. We'll quick double check. So now when the router goes and cuts, it should just be scratching the edge like it is there. And then we can cut. A lot of you might be thinking that these 18 volt cordless routers won't have the chicken nuggets to cut through this. I'm essentially cutting through like 3 eighths of an inch of um, this birch plywood. And if you've got a sharp bit and, you, and it does the job, I mean, they, they've got tons of power. I've got no complaints with them. Now, that should fit right in there, nice and flush. And that's how you do that.